As a canine behaviourist and as somebody who has built followings of hundreds of thousands of people across multiple platforms, I love talking to new and aspiring trainers and I've spoke to so many people that are desperate to become dog trainers but they're terrified of getting started. So in today's video I want to give you my top tips for how you can overcome the fear of getting started on your journey. And I think it's important for me to share with you that I've been in this position multiple times. I've been terrified of starting a new project. I've been terrified of taking that plunge and the things that I want to share with you today aren't necessarily just widely accepted truths but they're the actual things that have helped me overcome my fear of getting started which I'm incredibly glad that I did because it has allowed me to build what I've built which is offering a wonderful life for me and my family which is something that I want for each and every one of you as well and the first thing is re-evaluating your concept of worst case scenario a lot of people fear starting because they fear failing and the thing that I always ask them is what is the worst case scenario let's play that out let's say that you start right now and in six months it all crashes and burns you don't get a single client you don't get a single sale you lose all of the money that you've put into it what's actually going to happen let's put ourselves in that situation let's not avoid thinking about it let's actually plan it and the vast majority of people that go through this process of thinking what's actually the worst thing that happens is it's not really that bad at all. What most people fear when we play out this scenario is actually the not just the fear of failing, but the fear of what other people will think about their failure. And you have to be able to break that down. You have to work on that concept of not caring what they think. If people are going to laugh, if people are going to joke, if people are going to mock you for your failure, First of all, they should not be in your life in the first place. And if they are, it's only because they will be too scared to do anything themselves. So it's easier to pull people down rather than to face their wants, their desires, and their passion for making change in their own life. If you are fearing failing, because you're fearing what other people might think about that failure, you have to work on that. You have to remove that fear to allow you to move forward and you have to have that honest conversation and I'd encourage you to take the time to genuinely play through the worst case scenario and reevaluate just how bad is that actually. Which takes me nicely onto my next point and that is something that I personally have enjoyed doing myself. Don't get me wrong, I did not enjoy it at the time, but when I was deciding whether I wanted to take that plunge or not, one of the best things I think you can do is what we call burn the ships. If you've never heard of the term burn the ships, it comes from an old Spanish expedition where they were exploring and the crew was exhausted and he knew that when they got there, it might not go well and they might not have been able to get the crew infused and they might not have put the work in that was required to make the expedition work if they were just like, ah, it's okay, we'll just get on the ships and go home. So as soon as they landed, he ordered that the ships be burnt and then it gave them absolutely no choice. They had to make it work. And I have put myself into that situation a few times and it's been in those situations where I have thrived and achieved the most amount of success. So when I'm nervous about something, I evaluate what actually is the worst case scenario. And if that actual worst case scenario is something that I can live with, then I burn the boats and I give myself no choice but to make it work. Now, my next tip is equal parts tip, but equal parts just how some people view the world. And for me, my fear of regret always outweighs my fear of failure, my fear of getting started. And what that means is that it helps push me off the edge. It helps me set fire to those boats because when I think into the future, my fear having not done the thing outweighs my fear of what if that thing goes wrong. Now, that is useful if that's ingrained in you anyway. And if it is, I highly encourage you to use that to override your fear of getting started. However, it's not. It's something that I think you can work on by just actively thinking about those situations. Go for a walk, place yourself in 30, 40, 50 years time, and really try and think about what that version of you in 50 years would most rather have happened. Do they wish that you would have burnt those boats and tried? Gone through the experience of failure, which by the way, I have failed miserably in multiple businesses and lost everything. 
and I'm now sat here in thriving, successful businesses, happier than I've ever been before. And in those moments, even when things were collapsing around me, I was glad that I did it because I would rather have done it and failed than sat there wishing I'd have taken the chance on myself when I had the chance to do so. And my last tip is a good one and it's something that you can go and do right now, especially when we're thinking about fear of failure. Go onto YouTube, type in Jocko Willink Good go and watch that video thank me afterwards it's exactly the thing that i do whenever i'm doubting fear or fear of failure and i guarantee it'll help you as well